Good morning, New Code Academy. My name is Morgan, and this is News Bites. Now rhyme free. My name is Abby. You know, Morgan, rhyme free. I think that's the best thing I've heard all year. So, I wonder what crazy scheme Mr. Cannon has planned for us this week. I'm not sure, Abby, but let's get this show started before he has a chance to slip something crazy into the script. Great call, Morgan. Code, I just wanted to say hi. Um, I am kind of like introducing myself in a slightly new role. A lot of you guys know me already from class, uh, Mr. Jiro. And uh, I'm kind of stepping in this new role as Dean of Students for both New Code High School and uh, New Code Middle School. Um, so I'm kind of doing a little transitioning here, but that's why there's been some changes in the past week. But just wanted to give you a heads up. That's what I'm doing. I'm still around. I'll be talking to some of you. I'll be communicating with you guys. And uh, you can always reach out if you need me. Good morning, New Code. This week being the last week of October and the last week of our school spirit theme. This week, let's show our school spirit by sharing your favorite book, movie, or video game. Find your favorite school-appropriate book, movie, or video game and send a picture of it to News Bites. Let's share ideas for our next thing to read, watch, or play. Remember, go to your launch homepage and click on the News Bites button to find the activity. Have fun, and we look forward to seeing what you share. Good morning, New Code Academy. Let's go here with this week's weather. At the time of recording, it looks like we're going to see a lot of clouds this week, with rain showers today and a possibility for our first rain slash snow showers of the season. Good thing I'm an indoor cat. Temperatures will be dropping this week from highs in the 40s and 50s down to highs in the 30s and 40s and overnight lows down to the low 20s. Brrr. Sounds like a great week to find a nice warm sunbeam and curl up for a nice nap. <sighs> See you next week. That's a lot of things happening at New Code Academy. Wow, Abby, I can't believe we're already getting ready to start quarter two. Seriously, it seems like almost yesterday we were starting our first week of school. <sighs> Good times. No time for daydreaming, Abby. We have to keep this show rolling. On it, Morgan. Next up are our special segments for this week. Roll it, Mr. Cannon. Whether or not you celebrate Halloween, weather around Halloween time in Minnesota is usually a time we expect cooler temperatures, leaves falling from trees, and a time to start thinking about getting our winter gear ready. With snow being predicted this week around the state, I started thinking about the statistics of how often we actually get snow on or around Halloween in Minnesota. Here are some major facts about October snow. The average October snowfall in the Twin Cities area is 0 0.8 of an inch. Last year, Minnesota saw snow fall on October 14th, with the amounts varying across the state. Since 1872, we have only had a 4% chance of measurable snow on Halloween Day, which breaks down to only six times, with the 1991 Halloween blizzard bringing the highest total of 8.2 inches. The last time there was measurable snow on Halloween was in 1995, bringing us a little under 
a one-fourth of an inch. It will be interesting to see if they have predicted correctly or if we'll, we will have snow on Halloween Day. I love the snow, so I'm hoping they are right. Now you snow! Hi, my name is Hunter, and we are going to be doing um, some ASL today, which, if you don't know, is American Sign Language. We're going to be doing some Halloween signs, since Halloween is coming up uh, next week on Tuesday. And I know not everybody celebrates Halloween, but it can be it can be cool to learn anyways, so feel free to follow along if you want. Um, first, we have Halloween, of course, which is like you're putting a mask on and off. Halloween. So you do it twice. So close, open, close, open. So Halloween. Then next we have candy. Candy. You take one finger and you can do it with either hand um, and you kind of twist it on your cheek. Candy. Then a lot of people go trick-or-treating for Halloween. And just for the record, you're never too old to go trick-or-treating. So um, so you make like a door and you knock, so trick or treat, and then you also are like asking for candy, so you like hold out a bag, so trick or treating. Next, we have pumpkin. So sometimes with pumpkins, to see if they're ripe, you, um, like knock on them, so you kind of flick, so you're flicking the pumpkin, pumpkin, and then to do jack-o'-lantern, you're saying Halloween pumpkin, because that's pretty much just what it is. So, Halloween pumpkin. And last, but certainly not least, we have scary. Scary. It's supposed to be like your body is shaking because you're scared. Scary. So, if you want to say, like, Halloween is scary, which... Sometimes people have, like, scary haunted house, but it's not necessarily scary. But just as an example of how to use these in a sentence, you could say, Halloween, scary, meaning Halloween is scary. So, yeah, thank you for tuning in to ASL with Hunter, and I will see you next week. Okay, Abby, we're down to the last segment of the show. So far, Mr. Kin hasn't tried to slip anything into the script. It's almost like he's not creating the script this week. Mr. Cannon, are you there? Wait, Abby, are you sure you want to do that? We've been free of rhymes and gimmicks for a whole episode. Glad you caught me, Morgan. That was close. Before we go, let's go to Mr. Giroux for this week's closing thoughts. Hey, New Code Middle School. Hey, me again. And one of my things here that I've been pushing teachers to do is reward you guys and let you guys know that you guys are doing a great job in class. We have so many people doing amazing things. And uh, one of the things that a teacher might do to, do to recognize you is uh, sends me a little information about who should be rewarded, why they did a great job, and you get this tear right terabyte pride ticket and uh, one of the things I thought I'd do with that terabyte pride ticket is pick some people who got awarded in the past month or so and uh, give you guys a little prize just for doing good things in school so if you want to be in the drawing next month make sure uh, you're doing the right things you know um, coming to class meets on time making sure that you are getting work done when you should participating in meets in an appropriate way those sorts of things are the things that get you terabyte pride tickets. Now, if you get one, your teacher recommends you for it. I send you a little email, a certificate saying you got it. And then you get on this wheel of names and I'll draw. Um, I'm this, this time I'm going to do two for some prizes that we got. Now, if you're one of the winners, reach out to me. Send me a little chat. Mr. Drow, T-G-I-R-O-D. And, uh, and yeah, ask me, yeah, ask me what you would like to get. Basically, I have a few prize options. We can talk about it. We can communicate about it. But here you go. Um, clicking to spin. Our first prize winner, Dremel. Looks like Caden. Caden, we have a winner. So 
contact me, Caden, uh, and the chat, and uh, you and I can talk about what prizes I have available and which one you want to get. And then I'm going to draw one more. So I'm going to do one for like September and October. So let's go ahead and remove Caden. Let's do it one more time. So Caden, I'm going to write your name down. It looks like Ellie. Ellie. Congratulations to you. Send me a little chat. Let's talk about what you want to get for your prize for being amazing. New code, keep up the great work. Uh, teachers, just a reminder, fill up those Terabyte Pride tickets and uh, do that when you see good things happening at our school. Thanks, guys. Take care. Okay, Abby, we're down to the last segment of the show. So far, Mr. Kin hasn't tried to slip anything into the script. Morgan, we made it. Not a rhyme word in sight. Thanks, Mr. Cannon, for setting things right. Wait a sec, Abby. I need to share. You're rhyme ag again. Thanks for poking the bear. No! no! Bite out of learning. <laughs> <laughs>